is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Garage Edition. Um, previous episode, I was telling you about my plans. <laughs> the plans of domination of the coolest trucks in the world. Anyway, so today, guess what? It's raining. It is raining. And you know what the worst part is? It's like I bought a, can a canopy. I was like, oh, you know, it, it usually rains, but it feels good. I'll be in here like sweating and stuff, door open, but it's raining. I was like, I'll cheat the system. I'll get a campy and everything. Guess what? It's like cold as crap outside. It's like in the 50s. And I'm like, this weekend is like a Memorial weekend. So it's supposed to, you know, this is like, you know, when usually when summer's kicked off with all the cookouts and stuff like that. And I'm like, it's it's cold outside. It feels like it's fall. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so let's get back on the subject. Okay, so. Today you probably wonder what we're doing, but you know about a title of some sort of what we're doing. So, I have these flush mount LED pod lights. So, I was going to use them on the Super Ram a long time ago. They've just been sitting, so I was like, you know what? Let's use them on Colossus, because the Super Ram, I'm still, I'm still plotting on the rear bumper and stuff, what we're doing and everything. But on Colossus, I was like, you know what? We should do this. So, I've seen a lot of people like cut out their bumper and put these in there, because they are flush mount. I mean... You just flush mount them, four bolts, everything. So, and we put like a bracket on the back so it holds it better. I was like, cool. So, that is what we're going to do. Also, I have these. I bought them a long time ago. I think I actually bought them for Colossus. Um, I was like, you know, we'll put like an off road bump on it. Well, I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. So, right now, we're going to pimp out the rear OEM bumper. We're pimping it out. Pimping ain't easy. Anyway, so. Today we're actually going to take the LED lights apart and uh, the faceplate and we're going to paint them purple. Same color as we did the headlights. Um, the, I think this purple is called Purplelicious. Yeah, pimping. Anyways, uh, so we're going to paint it purple, we're clear coat and everything. So we're going to take these lights apart and everything and paint them purple. My goal was I was actually going to take the rear bumper off the truck because I will show you here in a second. Because it's raining, I'm trying to wait till it rains because my camera's not waterproof. Uh, I was going to take the a bumper off because we've got a couple little dents I'm going to try to hammer out. And then I can cut the holes out better, like, in my shop than on the truck. And also, I'm trying to think of, I want to see how the bumpers mount to the frame if the brackets are strong enough so I can put these, like, the, the D-rings on. Now, I know we ain't going to be able to pull, like, a semi or anything like that because it'll break the bumper. I'm not pulling anything really. Uh, usually, if I pull anything, I pull it with the actual like truck hitch itself. Um, but if I pull anything, we'll be doing it with uh, the Super Ram anyway. So, not really worried about that. It's mostly just going to be for looks, but we are going to make it so that if you need to pull like a four wheeler or something like that, you can. But if you pull a big vehicle, it might not turn out so well. But, anyways, it's going to look good. Uh, and also, I've been thinking about it. A lot of new trucks have steps inside the bumper. On the side of the bumpers, they got little steps. As you put your foot, and you can pull yourself up in there. I was thinking, I was like, I wonder if we can cut, cut it and like build an insert in there. That'd be pretty cool. I haven't seen those no old school trucks. Um, I could switch the bumpers and stuff. But I was like, nah. What's the use of that? Because they're like, well, we took this one bumper and put it on this truck and. So we're going to build our own custom one, plus I'm going to get some time in with welding with the MIG and everything like that. So, today we're actually going to take these lights apart and paint them, but first let's go outside and I'm going to show you, uh, like, my ideas with the bumper. And as always, it is raining ridiculous here in West Virginia. Okay, here's the back bumper. I'm trying to do this quick. The back bumper. I thought about we can cut, like, maybe a little step in there. Um, I've seen a lot of trucks do it. I'm going to look up some pictures and stuff and see if I actually like it before we actually start cutting. Now I know there is a bracket right here that comes right here and uh, I think we can put our lights right here. There's a dent right there and we'll try to hammer it out. Over here is where it looks like somebody tapped a guardrail. So basically I'm going to take the bumper off the truck, hit that back flush with this and when it's off I have time I can fix this because that's why this side hasn't been put decals on plus I ran out but I wanted to fix all this first. And I think we're going to get some new lights because this one is cracked. So we'll get some more cool aftermarket lights. So that is the plan. Um, I'm really digging to do steps right here. Uh, I know it's like that's pretty way up there. But it's something different. But we might actually do something. I don't know. Once we get it off the truck, 
we'll look at it and everything. That is my plan. Um, so let's go in the shop and take a, apart the LED lights and paint them. All right, so first what we want to do is we need to take the faceplate off. That's all we need. I'm not worried about painting this back here. I just want the faceplate because that's the only thing that's going to be seen. So let's get our wrench. My head's out. So this is the only piece that we need. We'll clean it, we'll paint that. Of course then, just do, you put this aside. I recommend putting your bolts back in because you can't lose these. And then you're gonna, the bolts is what makes it, like when this is gonna be a purplicious paint, the chrome is going, bolts is gonna make it look even better. So I'll go ahead and take that off and then we'll start prepping it for paint. All right, so I went ahead and uh, cleaned them off really good so they're good. Lay down uh, a piece of paper so I won't get all over my table. So I'm gonna hand throw it with some primer and then we'll throw on the Purplicious paint. All right, so while that paints around, I just want to say a quick thank you for everybody who commented, commented on the uh, update video of the trucks. I've had a lot of people come uh, comment and tell me, you know, what would be a good offset for the Super Ram, because I didn't really know what would be a good offset for the rims and tires that I was wanting to get, what I would need. So I want to thank everybody that, uh, you know, commented and everything on it. it. really helped out, so now I know kind of what direction I want to go toward. Now I just got to really find some rims I actually like that has that same offset. So big thanks to everybody who commented and stuff. So this is dry, so now we can go ahead and put our purple on. We'll start with a little coat and then we'll do a thick coat. All right, guys, so we got these painted. Just simple, easy. Look, I mean, that is, that is pretty. That is pretty. Like, I love that color. Uh, 
So those are gonna look really good in the bumper because the, it's gonna pop because the bumper's white. Guys, guys, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Now, I know it's kind of short and nothing really got done except for painting that. It is like storming outside. It's like, I can't even like put a camp yet because it's cold and the rains will get me no matter what. I'm like, it's ridiculous. So tomorrow I will be filming uh, another episode for Saturday. So I hope everybody's having a great Friday because, you know, it's always a day ahead. I hope everybody's having a great Friday. Um, but yeah, I I don't know. I'm still debating on the step portion of it. I'm gonna do some research and stuff. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, like a newer truck's got the steps you can step up. It wouldn't be really practical because the truck is really high. Like you have to grab the tailgate to lift yourself up just on the bumper, the license plate step bumper. So I don't know. That is the if because we have to cut it. It's going to be a lot of modification, but it is going to look different. So let me know your opinion if I should do it or not. But I am going to do these. Uh, I got to buy some. I'm going to make my own bracket. You buy these brackets for these things to weld on your bumper or to bolt on. It, things are like almost a hundred dollars now it is heavy duty so i do get that but we're going to try i'll try to make our other uh, our own because i think where we got the uh holder on the back uh, that bolts to the frame i think i can actually utilize that so it will be sturdy we'll probably put these where the frame is that way i can bolt to the bracket that bolts the bumper to the frame you, that makes any sense. I don't know. We'll have to really see because I ain't really got to look at it real good. But the plan is tomorrow we are going to take the bumper off and stuff. We are going to cut a hole in it, put these in. Um, and we're going to look at the uh, brackets for these and talk about the steps. Because if I do do the steps, I have to go get the sheet metal and all that stuff. Um, but I do have to get the metal and make these brackets. But anyways, guys, I'm done rambling. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you push that subscribe button. And I'll see you Saturday. Oh, by the way, this is George, and I'm out of here.